Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are going to install the XFAT system onto an SSD. This can be an SSD, it can be a micro SD card, it can be USB stick, or it can be an ordinary HDD. The advantage of XFAT is that it is compatible with Linux, it is compatible with Windows and with Mac OS X. So with the multi-platforms you won't have any problems which is really nice. So for example if we take this SSD which is 500 gigs on NTFS we are going to convert that into an XFAT. Going to delete that and then we are going to create an XFAT partition on this drive so without further ado let's begin first of all we want to go ahead and open up the terminal and we want to type in we need to install the XFAT support packages and we can do that by running terminal and then we type in sudo space apt get space install space XFAT minus sign utils space xfat dash fuse enter your extremely secure password alright if it's already installed then it is good you don't need to do anything otherwise it will install the package alright you can type in exit now we want to go ahead and go to disks and then you want to go to the disk you want to format into XFAT. So the next um, the next steps will be much easier because it's on a graphical user interface. Only the first step was to install the XFAT with a terminal. So to install XFAT, uh, choose the disk you wish to delete. First of all, you need to make up all the backups, of course, because that will destroy the data on your hard drive. So um, let's take this one, the SSD 500, and with NTFS partition, we want to destroy that. So delete the partition. Okay, now it's deleted. Well, first, you want to make a partition. Just make it like that. SSD. I have 500 gigs, okay, create it. All right, once it is created, you want to click on the gear icon right here. And then when you choose format partition. So now here you can choose which type of file system you want to use. In our case, it's the XFAT partition, which is not in the list. But what we're going to do, we're going to choose from here, custom, enter file system. So quick and then custom enter file system, name, we're going to do the same name, SSD 500. And here you want to delete PTRFS and instead of you want to put in XFAT and then click on format. Are you sure you want to format the volume? Yes. Go ahead and format it. And now, as you can see, we got an XFAT file system on this HDD SSD, which is really nice. So now, this disk will be compatible in Linux. It will be compatible in Windows, it will be compatible in Mac OS X and the advantage also of the XFAT file system is that you can also put large files, large chunk of files, which is also really nice. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. This was New Tech Begins, signing out, stay well, peace out. Hey, baby.
Like a 